expecting that, were you? <laughs> that was the side intro. I'm coming to you today with a one o'clock in the day. I have been coaching slash painting. So, I'm coming to you to talk about this. You know, when I meet people here in this kitchen over Skype and y'all, so many people are coming from a place I was at and I really, it's a long road, but you know, we got to get started. Are you waiting on tomorrow? Are you the dirty fish tank? Is your body the dirty fish tank that you're just starting to scrub down the layers on the side, you know? There's going to be debris floating, and it's going to have to filter out, and it's going to be hard. But at the end, it's going to be worth it because you will be clean and pristine. You will be able to think and move and feel the vibes of this world hidden from most everybody. Um, I mean, do we have the tomorrow mentality? Like, I'm going to start tomorrow. I used to be like that, and then I got to a place where I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to do. You know, I didn't, I just tried to, like, flounder around. I wouldn't stick to something long enough. I didn't own my plan because I didn't put it down and figure out the why. The why it mattered, you know? I mean, there's only so many tomorrows. And meanwhile, when we have that mentality, don't we just kind of think, chunk today? that I'll get my best version of myself tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and then, well, I'm just gonna eat all this now. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start exercising tomorrow. I'll be a better friend tomorrow. I'll love myself tomorrow. And there's only so many tomorrows. Are you waiting to begin tomorrow? I mean, what if we got serious about tomorrow today? What if we started today, the next meal you put in your mouth, getting on your plan and staying on your plan and creating the lifestyle and life that you want? What if we did that? Things would change. That's what would happen. But instead, think of this. Where will you be in one year from today? Where were you? It is now towards the end of September where were you at the beginning of the year when you made your New Year's resolution? Whether you said it out loud or, or just thought it in your brain. Maybe it was fleeting and you thought, fruited, I don't, I don't make resolutions or whatever. But everybody wants a little better for their self, you know. Where have you come since then is the question. Could you have come further? Have you backslid back to your old ways? Or did you just wait on tomorrow? You know, they say that a lazy man's uh, favorite thought is tomorrow because then they don't have to do anything today. It's always tomorrow. I mean, look two years down the road from now. Where do you think you'll be? Where do you think you'll be in five years? I'm really starting to map this out for myself, not strategically planning every move of my life, but implementing the routine in my life to create success and thinking and and feeling mentally and physically alive so that anything that comes my way, I am ready to take it on. Bam! <laughs> Procrastination, you know, is the act of putting off intentionally or habitually. Is it your habit to have procrastination? Are you intentionally doing it because really you don't know where to start? I mean, where will you be on this date in one year? You know, I look back and um, this week is my daughter's 18th birthday. 18, and it seems like I just had her. But yet in another way, it seems like another life ago. So much has happened to me, and I was on death's doorknob, doorstep. Crying out. And no one would help me. No one knew how to help me. And all doctors did was steal my money and my time. And give me false hopes and tear my body down the rest of the way with drugs. 
until I was sick of being sick, you know? Sick of my old self. If you weren't, if you're not sick, maybe you think you're fat. Maybe you're 10 pounds overweight and you think, I am so fat, I can't go out this door. Maybe you are stuck in a rut. Wherever you are, though, the thing is, what about in a year from now? If you really got on it in one month, you could have changed your life. One month. I mean, do we procrastinate because we don't have clear goals? I think that's got a lot to do with it. That we just don't really map it out for ourselves. We don't, we don't put down the why. Why do we care? Why do I want to feel good? Why do I need to live? That's what I used to, I was that bad that I would say, why do I need to live? You know? I mean, even within the past few years of, you know, stomped and, and left and betrayed and blah, 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 all that. Why did I need to live, you know? Why did the me inside need to still thrive? I mean, What if we view time differently, though? Like, we don't even know if we have another month, another year. And that's not about, oh, live it up and party it up like there's no tomorrow. No, it's about beginning today and quit saying tomorrow so that you can live every day to the fullest, you know? Viewing time differently. Those same things we keep doing, the same procrastination we keep playing into, it's the same thing. It is the same few things that bring different people down. It's your own things, but you have a little group of things, probably five or ten things that bring you down. They are the demise of you every dang week that you fail and you say, tomorrow. You know? Procrastination, I think, robs us of our dreams, don't y'all? Staying stuck. And little situations when you procrastinate can become large situations, you know? It can be down to organizing your things and then you just procrastinate on putting the laundry up and then it goes rolls you over and next thing you know, you've got a whole day of laundry when you could have put in a 10 minute load each day and been done with it. But that's just a small example. I mean, why do you want to stop procrastinating? Because nothing different's happened to you in a good way in the last two years, in the last five years, you know? Quit waiting on somebody else to believe in you. Quit waiting on somebody else to tell you it's the right path or to tell you you're all right, you know? To support you, to understand you. No, look in the mirror and say, I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. <laughs> I mean, stop waiting on somebody else and quit telling yourself tomorrow and say today, you know? Conquering procrastinations so that you can get what you want. And by the way, I have just a little bit of time. Someone said to me on Instagram or a YouTube comment that, um, well, Tanya, you know, you, um, I like your videos and all, but it doesn't look like you eat a lot of calories. Come on, people. I eat 2,000 calories every dang day plus. I have a couple smoothies during the day packed with so many greens that nobody else could digest that many. I have some chia seeds in there, maybe some hemp seeds. I have some gallon of water all day. I have some tonics like... Um, Maybe I have fennel tea. Maybe I have lemon ginger warm tea to warm my insides up. I have some fruit in the afternoon wrapped with some greens. And at night, I have a trough sink full of salad. Or I have a warm soup out of my Vitamix. Or I have, I don't know, a mock cauliflower hummus with veggies to dip. I might have avocado on there. 80 10 10 for the win. All the dang calories my body needs, not too many and not too little, just right. So don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, let's hear this. It changed on us. Oh. <laughs> Dang. 
wonder what's coming up. My favorite song of all time. <laughs> Y'all want to dance? I'll hold you up here so you can be tall. <laughs> See you later.